What's good, y'all? Joshua Mallet here. I'm talking all things music and all things sound design once again. I know it's been a while, but you know 2020 has been crazy. Anyways, we're back again talking about plugins. Specifically, what plugins am I using to make my drums hit a little bit harder? All of these plugins are gonna be free, so I'll leave the links in the description so that not only you can see how I use them, but you can try them out yourself. Anyways, before we jump into it, please subscribe and leave a like on this video. Leave some comments letting me know what you want to see next. I'm always doing composition tutorials, mixing, production, and other music topics. So let me know what you want to hear about next. Anyways, let's get right into it. Okay, we're back. It's been a minute. Let me show you this beat a little bit before we dive into the plugins. Okay, okay. All right, don't roast me in the comments. I know for a fact that was clean, and let me show you what's making these drums hit a bit harder. Let me just play you the drums soloed so you can hear what they're, what they're sounding like. All right, so I wanna hone in immediately on this snare a bit. Um, there's a plugin that I use a ton. I use M Saturator from Melder Productions. It's a free one, um, and you can upgrade to make this uh, little thing disappear, but there's no restrictions. It's not a trial. It's like actually a free plugin, but it's a saturation plugin that lets you add some extra harmonic content to your sounds. Saturators are super useful that, for that kind of stuff, adding character and altering the timbre of your sounds. Let me just show you what it's doing to this snare. Let's turn it off. On. Okay, okay, so it's adding some low mid content and some upper harmonics. And if you really wanted to, you could go into this harmonics tab and really alter the, the character of your sounds. Uh, messing with harmonics is really powerful. Um, every pitch generates harmonics through the harmonic series, the overtone series above that. And altering those can change how bright, how dark, and um, what sort of harmonic content is emphasized. So it's something you can't easily do um, in real life with acoustic instruments. But since we have plugins, we can do that stuff. So check this out. So it's getting really bright now. We're boosting the fifth partial. So you, you can sort of get the idea of like how you can shape your sound with that. Anyways, really great free plugin and you can drive this a lot if you really wanted to. But I just wanted to show you um, what it's doing. Let me just show you real quick in the context. Um, well, let me let me mess around with it for you. So you see, we're really um, honing in on like grittier sounds and stuff. So really great. And speaking of the snare, we'll jump right into the next plugin, Transient from Sleepy Time Records. So this is a transient designer. Um, transients are peaks of high energy in sound sources. So it's going to capture the point where the snare is really hitting the hardest um, and let us manipulate that. So we can boost that attack and make it stronger. And then we can kind of clamp down on the sustain a bit, the decay, the release, things like that. Now, if you're thinking what I'm thinking, that sounds a bit like a, a compressor, you know, where you got the attack a little bit slower and you let the release clamp down on the tail of the sound to get, you know, a punchier sound. And that's actually what's happening. 
So let me just show you what this sounds like again. Now without. So it's adding, it's making this a bit snappier and you'll kind of see what I mean. I can manipulate the attack of this and really boost it. Or take it away, really flexible. And we can clamp on the sustain. So you can make you can make these drums like the snare, especially really cut through a mix um, and be really powerful. But there's another use I like to um, apply this to, and that's cleaning up samples where you know maybe I don't want to go in to my sampler and edit the tail and stuff. I kind of just want to um, use a transient designer to get some more cleanliness out of it and I did that with these hi-hats without we can really clamp down on the sustain boost the attack and one aspect of this is the timing this can be a bit tricky to set up right but see we're really chopping this up now And there's even a whole advanced tab if you really get into this one where you can um, sort of change the detection, what it's detecting from its source, um, and you can monitor the attack and sustain, things like that. But that's for you to dive into a bit um, once you pick up the plugin. Ooh, I need to like save all these settings. Okay, <laughs> I'll figure that out after this video. But anyways, there's one more plugin I want to show you, and that's Camel Crusher, my favorite distortion plugin, and it's completely free. Um, you can even see the website camelaudio.com. This is a favorite among not just producers, but sound designers and composers alike. Um, really a great plugin to just drive sound. So check out this 808. Say we want something a bit more nasty. I mean, now it's really cutting through. We can mess with the tube distortion. We can even start doing some stuff like, let me show you on the kick drum. Um, So we're really squashing that down, adding a lot of distortion. So I think this is just a great plugin, you know. Sometimes you need distortion and you need it to be flexible. Um, and, you know, maybe it might not be multiband or anything like that. But, you know, you can get a lot of results out of this. Anyways, those are the three plugins that I think will really help you get punchier sounding drums. Um, so how people hear your drums is really important. A lot of the first impressions of a beat come from how hard the drums are hitting and a lot of how it translates to other platforms has to do with the dynamic differences between your drums and other elements in the mix. So put these plugins to good use, links in the description. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. They're just great plugins, so check them out. Let me know what you wanna see me talk about next. I do composition tutorials, mixing and mastering, and music production tutorials. So leave those recommendations down in the comments. I'll be checking them out. And I'll see y'all next time. Stay tuned.